Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another review video. It's already out of the box and technically it can't be an unboxing video because it's already out of the box. So this is a review video for you and you're like, Chris, what exactly is this? This is a ultra thin heavy duty security backpack for your laptop, travel, tablet, whatever you choose to do work on. This will be able to store it securely. And it is by the company Time Noten. And this is exclusively on their Kickstarter campaign. I will leave that link in the description box below. First link in the description box. You can read more about it, pick one up yourself. They have many different options. We're gonna go over what model this one is. They have Bluetooth. They actually have one that you can actually control via Bluetooth over an app on your phone. You can read all about that, again, in that link in the description box below on their Kickstarter campaign. This is the dual lock combo right over here with a TSA key. We're gonna get to that in just a second here. Nice little dust proof, waterproof up to a certain degree. I'm not sure if you can douse this in water entirely, but their Kickstarter campaign says it's dust and waterproof. But my guess is if it was sitting up on a table and you spilled water all over it, the way the seams are, we're gonna get to that, it would just run right over it and not seep in. And that waterproof material they use is actually EVA water stain proof, and the backpack is honeycomb mesh material, which is very nice as well. Hard shell right there where it's kind of soft but hard, so it has a little bit of give to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this up on the counter. Let's take some closer shots of it, and we'll go over some more specs. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Okay, to show you the thinness of the backpack, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Samsonite one out here that I normally travel with. And obviously that has more luggage space, of course. I have my laptop in the back, and then obviously I have my drone in the other little pouch down below. So obviously this one can store more. But what we're working with here is we're working with something that you want very minimal. You want a thin design. You want to be able to shove this under the seat of, in the airplane in front of you with your MacBook, whatever laptop you're working with. There's room for the charger. There's room for a book. We're gonna get to all that in there in just a second, but I'm just giving you a nice little side-by-side -side comparison. There's probably, at least, <laughs> probably the way this is pushed out, three and a half of these to four of these to one of these right here. All right, let's get that out of the way for right now. So here we have our locking system here, and it's upside down, so let me go ahead and flip it around here. We have our TSA lock combo key where they can get into the bag if they need to. We have our combo dial, you need to set that that to your own code that you want. And then when you're ready to go, those two keys snap up and it just unzips. Before we do get to that though, let me bring that shot back out here. We see it is very nice and it has a nice little shape to it there where it again is hard shell, but with the give to it. So it's like a materialized hard shell with the zipper seams right here coming all the way down the bottom of the bag there, that's where the zipper stops. So you can open it up, zipper here, zipper here where my thumbs are, and then it folds open. That's as far as it zips down. Let's go up the side here again, right there. And at the top, we do have a handle. So when you're standing in line, waiting to get on the train, subway, whatever, you can carry it like this if you really want to as well. And then down this side is just your zipper seam right there. Coming around to the back of the bag here, we have our normal straps as normal, adjustable straps right here. And then we have a nice little soft area for your back. So that would be able to ward off sweat or what not. There is the top of the bag there. Nice little stitching. And if you are curious, the back of the straps look like this as well. Same type of material with nylon on the front. And before I do forget, we do have a holder right here in the bag, and that would be able to fit in maybe a small iPod or piece of electronic, maybe a memory stick. It is open, so you do need to be careful that nothing flies out of there, but that is open for some reason if you did want to put anything in there. Here is an example of a first generation iPod Nano. Those are pretty small, but you could just slip that right on in here, pushing that in, and then Obviously that would fly out, or you could slip some money in there, a credit card. I'll let you guys get kind of creative with that. Let's go ahead and try a nice big case for earphones. And that does fit in there, but that might not be the best fit for my ear pods there. 
Okay, again, it does fold down all the way to here and here with organization we're gonna get to in just a second. You'll go ahead and obviously remove that. And on this side, we have a couple little buttons here. So you could button it up right here and the folding dividers. You do have a zipper right here that gives a nice little few inch deep pocket there. As you can see my hand going in there big enough for all your little devices or whatnot. Here we have a nice little cell phone pouch, camera pouch, anything that you kind of desire. My Samsung S8 Plus would definitely fit in that or a small point and shoot camera. You have another little pocket inside there and a mesh little pocket on the outside here. Coming around, we do have a little belt clip here, Velcro, strap that on your belt, zipper it up right there. Now flipping this around, we have another little mesh little area here and you could put something in, credit card, driver's license. And up here, we look like we have a little tag here. So let's go ahead and remove that. And that gives you the TSA accepted luggage locks and some information on how to set your code right there for your lock. Again, some nice little dividers here for papers, credit cards, license, your boarding passes, subway, train tickets. A little snap right here for maybe your keys. So your keys could kind of dangle right there. Whenever I'm traveling, I always shove them in some random pockets. It'd be nice if it was dangling right there. A couple pockets here for cell phones or even a small tablet, whatever. Pin one over here. A couple little elastic pullouts right here. You could even put some film if you're an old school point and shooter. And then this does have a nice little elastic band right here. So you could actually pull that out if you so preferred. That would slip down and then that divider falls down here. And then you have on this side, you have two more deep pockets here and here for maybe a laptop charger, maybe a larger iPad mini or something like that. A little logo right here with Velcro and then you have kind of a four inch deep pocket here and then your big pocket right here for your laptop right back in here, which would then be obviously Velcroed and then on top here, you have one more felt anti-scratch. So if you needed anything like your Apple AirPods or anything like that, you can go ahead and put them loosely in there if you wanted to go that route. So let's go ahead and load this guy on up. But before we do, let's go ahead and flip it around to the other side here. And it looks like the shell comes down and that is felt there as well. So you could have access to the back for some oddball reason. So if you are traveling, you could actually put maybe some loose bills back there, maybe a passport and you can kind of hide it back there if anyone is rummaging through your bag. If it's open, if you just go grab a coffee or a water, maybe they'll grab something real quick or not see that at all. So it is kind of nice to have a little zip up secret pouch back there. If you're wondering precisely how thin that is, that is nine centimeters thick. So that is very thin. And the EVA material on the top here is scratch proof. And on the back of this divider real quickly, I do wanna mention that there is another long sleeve on the back of this here. So you could slip something very nice in the back of that if you would like to as well. All right, let me go ahead and show you what's in my backpack. And this is what it looks like right here. So we have the very thin backpack right on the back, obviously, and nice little shoulder straps. You pull that up or down. If it depends if you wanna kind of rock low backpack like that, or if you wanna bring it up and kind of work on your posture. I have actually terrible posture, so I actually like to bring my shoulders back. I tend to hunch over at a young age and I should not do that, or a younger age, I should say. But we are looking Absolutely great from a back shot of it here, as we can see, and coming around to the side. So you're wondering what I have in here? Let me go ahead and show you. Okay, so number one, boom. Snap open those guys there. Obviously I need to remove those tags there on the top as well. And we're gonna go ahead and fold it on open here. So as you can see here, I've organized some things here. Let's go ahead and start on this side here. So in this little pocket here, I actually have a mini tripod for filming if you're on the go. Again, one of those kind of those mini ones there. I also have my 3.0 wall adapter there for my charger, for my cell phone, which I'm currently filming on. And then up here on the removable divider, again, that is removable, this first one you're looking at here, I have my keys, which I've mentioned before. That actually is a nice little clip-on clip there. So those are my house keys. Again, you can have your driver's license, passport in this. 
I also have a tactical flashlight, a mini tactical flashlight. I also have a long six foot braided type C charging cable there that was hooked up right there. In this pocket, I have my Samsung S3 Frontier watch right there, which obviously you probably would be wearing, but if you're in kind of a shady area and you wanna hook it in your backpack so you can keep it secure until you're to your destination in a foreign country airport, etc., I'll let you guys go ahead and protect your items as well. We have my earbuds right here, and that was in that pocket there. Do I have anything else? Nope, and nah, nothing else in there. And that one, again, is removable. So let's go ahead and remove this guy here. That removes off of there. And now we have the back portion here. We have my laptop charger right there. Let's go ahead and get that guy out of the way. Even if it is a bigger brick one, it would be able to slide right in there. Over here is a wired mouse. Eh, a lot of you guys don't use wired mouses anymore, your Bluetooth, but that is a full HP wired mouse, just for show purposes of the video. Up here are some wired earphones. So whenever you're traveling long distances, especially if you're running rechargeable ones, I always carry a pair of wired ones just in case because you need sound where you need sound. And lastly, in the very back is going to be my 15.4 inch thin laptop, but I will actually be testing this out with my thicker HP one as well. This would be the size of a Apple MacBook Air, very thin or a very thin Dell, but that again is a 15.4 inch screen on that one which fit in precisely perfect and the nice little strap to hold it in. And because this is a review video, I'm going to see if this big beast of an Asus, which is very heavy, will be able to fit. Let me get you a side-by-side -side comparison of the other one. Here is a back comparison to the thickness. As you can see, it is probably double the size, not to mention that is a heavy laptop. So. Let's go ahead and see if this guy can fit in here, which unfortunately it does not fit in that pocket right there because of the thickness. But if you are old school and you do not have a thin one, you could strap it in like that, I guess. Or the other option is you could have the divider right here and then you could place it in here like this with the divider maybe in place for extra protection. And then you could just zip it up that way and it would fit perfectly in there. So if I do take this laptop next month when I do travel, I will probably go ahead and do that. I could probably actually fit both. So actually, let's go ahead and try that out real quick. Let's go ahead and flip my thin one in there, strap it down, as we can see. Other laptop is right here, and you go ahead and fold that guy on up. Some of you guys might be traveling with two or more laptops. You never know. And let's go ahead and buckle in the zippers here right there and there. And as you can see there, we have two laptops. I don't think I'll be traveling with two laptops because that thick one, white one is very heavy, but as you can see there, it does work. Overall, I am excited about this bag. It definitely looks good and not to mention, I actually could have another sack in my hand because this would go under the seat. Something else I'm holding in my other hand would be able to fit on top of this. Or if you're just traveling with this, you would be able to have more leg room than what I normally travel with. And that would be this guy, which does not give me any leg room. The overall difference obviously is I do travel with a drone, but if I'm strategic, I bet you I can place my DJI Mavic 2, which is foldable. I could probably get it to fit in here without the white laptop. So overall, I'm excited about this. In the description box below, again, guys, is gonna be the link where you can read more about this, pick one up yourself, see the other ones with the Bluetooth features, single lock, double lock, code combination. They have it all. Their Kickstarter campaign is linked below. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.